Tonight, the top infectious disease doctor at Beaumont Health warns Metro Detroit is once again becoming a hot spot. But we can all do something to help stop the spread. 7 Action News reporter Nana St. Chubonsu tells us what's driving the concern about a fourth surge. Yes, in the past 48 hours, Beaumont Health tells us that their COVID-19 hospitalizations have spiked, but they're not alone. This is something that other healthcare systems in Michigan are seeing, saying that a vast majority of these hospitalizations are unvaccinated people. Generally, around 65 to 70 percent of all of our COVID patients in the hospital at any given time are unvaccinated causing hospitalizations to climb as Metro Detroit enters the fourth COVID-19 wave. Dr. Nick Gilpin is the Medical Director of Infection Prevention and Epidemiology with Beaumont Health. We have currently about 397, uh, almost 400 COVID patients uh, across our hospitals. Dr. Gilpin says cooler weather is contributing to the increase. He also believes that the national message that COVID-19 is declining is causing people to let their guard down. He says across the country, COVID-19 cases may be decreasing, but that is not the case in the Midwest. We're seeing uh, relaxed behaviors with regard to masking, physical distancing. We're seeing more and more large gatherings take place, and we know that those are the conditions uh, that are going to make for more transmission. Henry Ford Health System is seeing similar trends. They tell us they currently have 243 hospitalizations compared to 172 last month. On the western side of the state, Spectrum Health in Grand Rapids is seeing record-breaking numbers at all of their hospitals. Similar to Beaumont, we are at capacity. Uh, we've never been busier as far as both in both inpatient COVID and non-COVID care. Our hospital census reached an all-time high this week, um, and our numbers just continue to go up. Dr. Joshua Koistra is the chief medical director with Spectrum. COVID is a significant strain on an already busy system. He says they've already had to expand into different areas of the hospital where they don't typically provide care. We have room to expand further, uh, but if this pandemic continues in the direction that we're going over the last month, uh, we are going to run out of hospital beds. You know, all the hospitals that we spoke with said they are seeing increased wait times in their emergency rooms. But if you're experiencing a serious health condition like a stroke or chest pains, go to your closest ER. I'm going to say to for 7 Action News. Uh